Listen, I know what you're probably thinking. I would never betray my real homie, Iron Bull, and I feel the same way. Iron Bull is my favorite character in the Dragon Age franchise. Just check my tier list. So I'm probably going to hit the dislike button on this video myself after I upload it. But if we're going to keep the Devil's Advocate videos rocking, then I got to cover all the decisions. So in this video, we're going to explore the most compelling reasons why you should save the Kunari Dreadnought and sacrifice Bull's chargers in Dragon Age Inquisition. But before we dive into all that, let me tell you about an exciting new RPG from today's sponsor, Dragon Air Silent Gods. An official collaboration with Dungeons & Dragons, this upcoming open world fantasy RPG is one you definitely don't want to miss. Build a team of powerful champions and meet iconic characters like Driz Duerden as you embark on an epic journey in a gorgeous open world sandbox. Explore a multiverse where different domains are each ruled by its own master. The Chaos Universum is a dark fantasy zone reminiscent of the Fade. Throughout the campaign, you'll travel to a boatload of visually striking environments like the ice fields of Iskaland and the plains of Edenthia, all the while solving puzzles, helping NPCs, and defeating baddies as you unravel the mysteries of this strange multiverse. Forge your own adventure and see if you have what it takes to defeat the evil dragon god. But the true god of this universe is the mighty D20. The devs have really baked that classic D&D vibe into all aspects of the gameplay, even down to on-screen dice rolls for the plethora of skill checks in the game, such as bartering, stealing items, persuading NPCs, critical hits in combat, and so much more. The isometric camera perspective and squad-based gameplay had me reminiscing about the classic Baldur's Gate experience I've always loved. Dragon Air Silent Gods releases later in 2023 on PC and mobile. Click on the link in the description to pre-register for the game with your email address. Pre-registration is completely free, and you'll receive exciting in-game rewards once Dragon Air launches. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to pre-register right now. Big shout out to Dragon Air Silent Gods for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's rewind to the beginning of our relationship with Iron Bull. He reaches out to the Inquisition and offers to put his mercenary group, the Chargers, at our disposal. The arrangement is essentially made so that Iron Bull can spy on the Inquisition and report back to the Kunari, a fact which he is very open about. For the time being, the Kunari and the Inquisition have goals that align with each other. Both want to see the breach closed and the crisis with Corypheus averted. As time progresses, Iron Bull lets us know that the Kunari are potentially interested in a more formal alliance, which is an unprecedented thing for his people. The Kuhn is basically the lone wolf nation of Thetis. They spy on everyone, they fight the Tevinters, but they keep everyone else at an arm's length, diplomatically speaking. So this mission is a really big deal, an opportunity to establish an alliance with the Kunari and perhaps create the first diplomatic inroads that could lead to greater things down the line. If only the Inquisition doesn't mess things up along the way. The task is a dangerous one. Disrupt a Venatory Red Lyrium smuggling operation on the Storm Coast by providing cover for a Kunari Dreadnought so that it can destroy the smuggling ships. The stakes are high. If the Venatori are able to smuggle this Red Lyrium into Tevinter, the results could be disastrous. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. The group splits up into two teams to launch surprise attacks on both Venatori camps in the area. The Kunari agent Gat comments on how Iron Bull sent the Chargers to take out the easier position, so it's clear he's concerned about protecting his mercenaries. After taking out both groups, you'll signal the Dreadnought. But unfortunately, a group of Venatori reinforcements appears and bears down on the Chargers. At this point, you must decide to signal the Chargers to retreat, thus sacrificing the Dreadnought, or leave the Chargers to certain death defending the ridge so that the Dreadnought can neutralize its targets and destroy the smuggling operation. The obvious feel-good choice here is to save the Chargers. It preserves our positive relationship with the Iron Bull, including throughout the DLC, and ensures we continue seeing the friendly faces of the Chargers in Skyhold. But what of the cost? 
For starters, we allowed the Venatori to successfully smuggle Red Lyrium into Deventer. How many lives will be lost as a result of our inaction here? We already see how Red Lyrium can wreck entire regions like Empress du Lyon, and how it infected such a large number of Templars, who are now one of the most dangerous forces in the region. Wouldn't it have been better to sabotage this operation at any cost? Second, we completely sacrifice any diplomatic relationship or alliance that we could have ever had with the Kunari. And given how the Kunari get burnt here, how likely are they to approach diplomatic relations with anyone else in the near future either? Yes, we will inevitably come to blows with the Kuhn during the Trespasser DLC, but that is mostly because of Solus's actions, which they are right to fear. The guy wants to tear down the veil and destroy the world after all. The Inquisition could easily have common cause with the Kunari to oppose the Dreadwolf. Also, Iron Bull becomes Talvashoth as a result of this betrayal. The Kuhn makes a half-assed assassination attempt on him at Skyhold, and he'll never be able to go back into the fold with his own people. You could argue that it's a good thing, given how things play out in Trespasser, but hey, maybe just leave Iron Bull out of your squad at the end of the DLC and everything will be Gucci. So when it comes time to take action, do the right thing and save the Dreadnought. My game bugged out during this cutscene, by the way, so enjoy Iron Bull arguing with an invisible elf. The Chargers can't stand against that kind of force. No, they can't. They do that. They're dead. They're my men. We need to hold that hill at all costs. <sighs> yeah. Will the charges hold long enough? Yeah. They'll get it done. It doesn't matter. The Kuhn demanded it. Dreadnought's clear. Let's get out of here. Listen, I know this is a feels bad man kind of moment, but Iron Bull is going to betray us and trespass her anyway. We need to get out ahead of this thing. It's either him or us. Hisrat, now, please, the net us. Understood, ma'am. Change of plans. Nothing personal. Boss. Wait a minute. What's that then? You're saying Iron Bull doesn't betray you if you save the Chargers? Oh, okay. Well, we all have our blind spots now, don't we? So there you have it. Why you should betray Iron Bull and sacrifice the Chargers in Dragon Age Inquisition. I think I need to go grab a shower after recording this video. I feel dirty and wrong for some reason. Is this my conscience? If you like this video, or dislike this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Damn Gaming either way for more Devil's Advocate and RPG videos. Big shout out to all my channel members for supporting my content, even if they probably disavow this video. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.